Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, trapezoid ABCD. As you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, its uh, side length uh, CD is uh, 24 units. Its side length uh, BC is uh, 16. And moreover, this trapezoid uh, ABCD area is 448 uh, unit square. And furthermore, we have got uh, this uh, diagonal uh, AC and as a result we get this uh, red triangle uh, AFD and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, red shaded triangle uh, AFD. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we proceed any further let me go over the basic uh, concepts. And now let's go over the definition of a trapezoid. Sometimes we call it a trapezium. A quadrilateral with at least uh, one pair of uh, parallel sides, as you can see in this uh, trapezoid, A, B, C, D. And here we can see this side uh, A, B is uh, parallel to this side uh, C, D. And now let's recall the area of a trapezoid formula. Area equals to H times A plus B all over 2 where our this uh, a b side i'm going to call uh, this base a this c d side i'm going to call uh, this uh, base b and this uh, is the height uh, h of this uh, trapezoid and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half times uh, base uh, times height and here this is our base and this one is going to be our uh, height uh, h of the triangle and here's our next step uh, we know that the area of this trapezoid a b c d has been given to us as uh, 448 and let's recall the area of a trapezoid formula once again area equals to h height uh, times uh, a plus b all over 2 and here this base uh, a b of this uh, trapezoid let me label this one as lowercase a and this uh, base uh, cd i'm gonna call uh, base uh, b and this uh, is going to be our height uh, h of the trapezoid and now we know our base uh, b value is 24 our h value is 16 and now we are going to figure out uh, our this base a value and we know our area of the trapezoid has been given to us as uh, 448 so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula 448 uh, equals to h in our case is 16 times a plus 24 all over 2 and here 16 divided by 2 is going to give us 8 so therefore we are going to write 448 equals to 8 times a plus 24 let's divide both sides by 8 so we are going to have a 56 uh, equals to a plus uh, 24. Let's subtract uh, 24 from both sides. This is gone. And therefore our a value turns out to be 32 units. So therefore our this uh, base uh, a turns out to be 32 units. And now let's make an observation. We know that this uh, a b length uh, turns out to be 32. And this uh, c d length uh, is uh, 24 so therefore this uh, length uh, eb is going to be 24 units as well so therefore our this segment uh, ae is going to be 32 minus 24 means this is going to be 8 uh, units and now our next task is uh, to find the value of this segment uh, ef and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, AF and another uh, big right triangle uh, ABC and now so we can see that these uh, two right triangles uh, AEF uh, and ABC are uh, similar triangles according to angle angle similarity theorem since both of these uh, triangles are uh, 90 degrees each and both of them has this angle A is in common so therefore we are going to have a proportion in other words uh, the ratio of ef and a 
let me write it down e f divided by a e is going to be equal to the ratio of b c and a b let me write down b c divided by a b length and we know our a e length is 8 b c length is 16 and a b length is 32 so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks e f divided by 8 equals to 16 divided by 32 let me go ahead and multiply both sides by 8 to isolate side ef 8 and 8 is gone so therefore our ef length turns out to be 4 units so therefore our this ef length turns out to be 4 and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, bc length uh, is 16 so therefore this uh, ed length is going to be 16 as well but then uh, ef length uh, is uh, 4 so therefore uh, this uh, df length is going to be 16 minus 4 is going to give us uh, 12 units so thus our this uh, df segment uh, turns out to be 12 units and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, red shaded uh, triangle uh, afd and now let's recall once again the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half times uh, base times height and in our case the base of uh, this uh, red uh, triangle uh, afd is uh, this uh, df is the base of this triangle and ae is the height uh, of uh, this red triangle so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula so the area of this uh, triangle is going to be a half times the base is 12 and height is 8 and if we simplify the right hand side the area of this uh, red shaded triangle uh, AFD turns out to be 48 square units so thus the area of this uh, red shaded triangle uh, AFD turns out to be 48 uh, square units and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye